Hello, and welcome to the Novia Conversation. I'm Steve Waltz. And I'm Jeff Pergulski. And today's episode or recording, or what do we call these things? Uh, podcast. Podcast <laughs> is about the recap of uh, the Inovia Customer Conference, which we held in the beautiful Wisconsin Dells. It was beautiful. Actually, the weather this year was uh, was was fairly nice. Um, I think, well, compared to uh, previous years where we got seven or eight inches of snow. Um, we, if if people remember, we were going to uh, record live at the uh, at the event. Um, what happened with that plan, Steve? Well, you know, I think it was either uh, the engineering department uh, failed us, or the, uh, uh, the there were so many people in in the the room, which there was, Jeff. It was, it was just loud, so uh, uh, it just came out a little bit fuzzy. So, um, uh, but next year, I think we're going to address that. So, Jeff, what do you, what do you think about our engineering department? Should we fire them? <laughs> <laughs> Considering that I'm probably the closest thing to engineering this podcast has, I'm going to say no. We should actually give them a raise for working in okay. uh, horrible conditions or something. Oh yeah, we're high. We're, we're real high tech here, right? So uh, yeah, we when we were uh, you know the spirit of it was let's record it uh, kind of during the uh, the greeting air time when people were coming in the night before and there was a lot of people there, Jeff, and it just it just didn't play well. So I think next year we'll, we'll definitely uh, uh, set up a separate room on that. But you know, kind of getting to that, maybe uh, if if you want to tell us like the the first day was on Wednesday and in, in the. Uh, welcome um, cocktail hours was from six to nine, but maybe you can talk about what led up to that and a little bit about that. Sure. So uh, I think one of the um, advantages uh, for our customers of attending events like this um, is that they've got the opportunity to interact with um, a, a huge part of the Inovia team, um, not just the sales team, but uh, leadership as well as uh, delivery resources. And I know that um, I had some customer meetings um, uh, before the cocktail hour. Um, hopefully those customers remember those meetings. Um, so uh, <laughs> every, every, every meeting with you is memorable, Jeff. Come on. Yeah, uh, there we go. Let's go with that. Um, so, so that was great. It was, uh, I know that um, we were able to, uh, we had, was it 17 ISVs we had attend? Yeah, it was, it was, was it? 17. It was, uh, the room was full. Yeah, so so we were um, um, Anovia, you know, uh, we were able to benefit from that. Where we received some training um, the the day before, uh, the afternoon before. So it was uh, um, it was it was really um, a great opportunity, I think, for everyone involved. I, you know, we heard a lot of uh, positive feedback from the ISVs who were there. That uh, as far as you know, the great job that. Um, Tim and Angie did putting it together, um, how well organized it was, um, you know, from the small details about, you know, the meals to, uh, to the, you know, setups in the rooms for the presentations. It was, uh, it was really good. It, like, uh, it's one of those events that makes me proud to be an Enovian, if that's a word. It is now. I'm good with that. All right. <laughs> I, I, what would impress me the most is the reason we kind of have the cocktail hour in the evening is people are traveling. We had uh, our friends from uh, T.W. Gardner, uh, Matt, Robert, and uh, Brad came all the way from North Carolina. We had uh, got Andrea from Stonewall Kitchen came from, uh, I think, Maine, uh, out, in, out in the northeast. And we even had uh, uh, folks from Texas and Arizona. And, uh, you know, all over. So a lot of different time zones. And so all the all of you that are listening that came, we appreciate the, uh, you know, had a couple of plane trains and automobile comments. You know, it's like I took you know, drive the airport to two planes and had to take a horse and a buggy to get to get to the Dells. <laughs> it, it's, if, if you've never been to Wisconsin Dells, there's no major airport in the Wisconsin Dells. Yeah, I think uh, Madison is the closest, and even that's about an hour away. So I, I don't want to uh, I don't want to forget um, mentioning some of my uh, some of my accounts that showed up, um, like Miris Bio and Lacrosse Seed, and um, you know people that had to travel all of forty five minutes to get there. So it was uh, it was really convenient for a handful of us, and uh, but I think we're excited about uh, about the move next year. Um, that's right. It's going to be held at the University of Notre Dame. 
here in the big city of South Bend, Indiana next year. So that's that's really exciting considering I live in South Bend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was uh, I was breaking the news um, to uh, all of my accounts who are local to Wisconsin that, uh, hey, let's let's live it up this year because next year right. we are going to have to uh, travel a little bit. And I'm sure it'll be even better. Uh, you know, I'm sure we'll have just as awesome attendance. What were the, like? Uh, what were the final numbers around attendance? Do you know? Well, it, it was uh, big numbers. We had a uh, uh, hundred, I, th- I think, a hundred signed up, and ninety three showed up, which is a really good rate. And and logistics, you know, one of the reasons we are, I think, moving it to South Bend is that when we started doing these, about seventy five percent of the customers were. Uh, within a hundred miles of Wisconsin, and then we figured that actually uh, this time around it was seventy five percent of the people were outside a hundred miles. Um, so by having a, a large contingency of uh, employees in South Bend and and having a regional airport in South Bend, I think we we felt it would be a little bit easier for because uh, we had customers that wanted to come, but it was just too much time to get there and get back and took a chunk out of their day. So, but yeah, we're, it was it was it was well over ninety because the year before I think we had around. 60 maybe does that sound right 62 yep yep i think that sounds right so yeah it was a it was a big big increase and um in terms of the uh you know just the the content and and you know so we talked a little bit about um about what wednesday night was and the the social hour um or or social hours i should say um and our failed attempt at recording a podcast there. Um, and, and I wasn't even drinking, so I can't blame it on that. Um, we'll just have to say the uh, gods of technology were frowning upon us. Um, but then, uh, then the real, the, the real conference, uh, the meat and potatoes of it, uh, was, was all on Thursday, right? And that was, uh, that, that started, uh, at, at breakfast at 7 a.m. and that rolled into a keynote and then and then sessions after sessions after sessions all day long. It was nice because David O'Brien, who is uh, our Microsoft liaison, um, was our keynote speaker for the second year in a row and did a great job on really presenting the Microsoft roadmap to our customers. And, you know, the thing that the message has been is the cloud first message. And he really kind of, I thought did a good job of explaining that because, you know, a lot of our, a lot of our customers, um, uh, they, you know, they're not going to go to the cloud. Um, but, uh, you know, he kind of explained, you know, some of the benefits that they, they, they can do by, by going to the cloud. And so, Hey, what I want to do, Jeff, uh, I'm, I'm looking online right now. Well, that was an email. <laughs> they came through. I'm not, I think I'll close my my mailbox. I, I normally do that here. Okay, so uh, um, that I see Alan's available, our CEO, and uh, so we're doing this podcast. Uh, well, Central Time, Jeff's on it, so it's eight twenty there, and it's it's uh, nine twenty here. And you know, what's the unwritten rule about talking to Alan? <laughs> not before ten a.m. <laughs> not before ten a.m. So Alan has a couple coffee, a couple cups of coffee in there. So let's so let's just go ahead and 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 see if Alan answers the phone. Uh, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> man, you are a brave soul, Steve well, Waltz. I, I, I don't know if that's good or bad. <laughs> yeah, well, let's 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 find out together. <laughs> All right, but I'm hanging up if it goes starts to go south. All right. Hey, Alan. It's 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 Steve and Jeff. How are you? <laughs> I'm good. How are you guys? Uh, we're doing good, Jeff. Jeff and I are doing a podcast right now on the customer conference, and you know, I was looking at the time and I. Explain to Jeff that it's before ten o'clock, and we kind of know the unwritten rule. Now our customers kind of know their unwritten rule about uh, that. But I'm hoping. Did you have a cup of coffee yet this morning? Um, I just finished one, so I should be semi-intelligent. <laughs> All right, Jeff. So I'm going to turn. It, I'm going to turn over to Jeff now because I'm, I'm going to. I'm going to play play safe. <laughs> so it's not his. It's not his intelligence that we worry about before 10 a.m. That's, that's all I'm going to say. So oh. hey, yeah, so we're talking about the uh, customer conference, and I think we just wanted to sort of, uh, you know, get your as the as the CEO of Anovia, just kind of get a feel um, how you thought it went, and uh, any any highlights, anything you wanted to mention uh, uh, to entice people to uh, make the trip to South Bend next year. Yeah, well, I I mean, it's the largest one we've had, which, you know, I've, I've been here five years now and they've been growing every year. So we were at 93 people, I think, um, over 40 different companies or customers. 
And that's, you know, that's a big chunk. And while we have 120, 130 customers, you know, you got a full third of them like popping in there. That's, that's pretty nice. Um, the ISVs, you know, 17 of them. And I think it's a nice chance for the customers to really sit down face to face in a smaller environment um, and talk with, with these guys and find out what products they sell and how it adds to the experience for NAV or for Business Central, you know, and make it more usable and make it more profitable for them. So it's, you know, it's, it's a nice, nice chance to do that. And I would also say that, you know, it, it's a chance for our customers to talk to each other, you know, and, and talk to them about things that they're doing in their business, um, utilizing Business Central or problems they're having that other customers may be experiencing and in, in how to take that procedure and process and use NAV or use Business Central to really make it happen correctly. So when you're talking to the people that use it every day, as opposed to, you know, Anovia who sells it and is experts in it. And while we use it internally, we're not manufacturers, we're not distributors, other things. Um, you know, it's a really good chance for those customers to get good insights. So it's, you know, it's an inexpensive trip to get a lot of knowledge and to get a lot of benefit out of it. And, you know, we we continue, like I said, continue to see it grow. And and I'm very pleased with that. And I, I got to tell you, the response we got from customers just verbally, you know, people stopping us saying, thank you. This was a great event. We had a wonderful dinner at the end of it. You know, I think it it bookcases. Well, David O'Brien from Microsoft was there, and we always have somebody from Microsoft there to give us a keynote and really talk about where Microsoft is headed and, you know, and give some credence to, you know, customers have chosen the right ERP platform. This is where we're going. You know, you see the five-year plan. You see the R&D that Microsoft's putting in, and that's a good way to start the conference. And then we have a nice dinner for everybody at the end. So it's, you know, it, it's a fun time and it's an interesting time. And I think, you know, I think we had 24 sessions this year um, that were basically about 45 to 50 minutes a piece and a lot of good information from that perspective. So that's, you know, that's kind of my take on it from a, from a high level. I, Alan, I, you know, the one comment that stood out was when you talked about the customers engaging with the other customers, I was very, it, it was, it was it was very neat to see uh, how many of them were having side conversations and how packed some of those rooms were. So you talked about the sessions. Maybe you can tell a little bit about how uh, you and Tom kind of came up with the platform on having uh, the sessions throughout the day and, and choices for them, uh, for our customers. Well, it's, you know, you, you get in, insight from, from the customers themselves. I mean, we, you know, we talked to the sales team, we talk to our delivery team and, you know, try and get a feel for what are the ISVs people are using? You know, what are the things they're asking for now? Maybe this year, you know, it's more um, data management kind of heading towards the AI, data integration. It's, you know, a couple of years ago, it may have been more things along the lines of, um, you know, how do I do expense control? You know, what's a mobile app for me? You know, we have a couple of those. And it's, it's kind of a broad spectrum, but we, you know, we really end up setting up four different session tracks. One of them is Anovia and, you know, we're looking there at, you know, we have John Grant do a, a manufacturing session. Um, we have Bob do a value stream mapping. We have, you know, Jeff did a, an interesting one this year to call out Jeff here is, you know, the virtual reality one. Um, those are the kinds of things that our customers haven't seen before in terms of the the reality and you know it's very interesting for them because here's what microsoft is working on and while anovia you know i mean we're an erp company we keep very close tabs on things that we think some of our customers can really use even if it's what today they would probably consider more exotic uh, type of of system but you start looking at power bi you start looking at ai you know, and the ISVs tie into that too. And so it's give them the, give customers the broadest range of sessions, but try to target them based on the feedback we've heard for the last year. And, you know, and then they're interested and you're right. Every, almost every session I walked into to observe 
was packed, and, and that was great. Yeah, I, I, one of the things that uh, that I had a couple comments when I was talking with the uh, customers that came from afar was, you know, typically an AF partner just kind of helps daily support, kind of helps them, you know, utilize their whatever modules of NAV they're using. But you know, the, the comments I got were, "You're you're bringing the future to us." You know, the, when David O'Brien kicked off with the, uh, you know, with his roadmap of Microsoft. But you know, as you said, Jeff did his uh, virtual reality session, and we had, you know, uh, you know, kind of get into AI and those conversations. You could really see when uh, when we, those sessions and when David O'Brien talked about it, that everybody's perking up because everybody knows this stuff's going at this at a very rapid pace and Power BI, and these are just things that you know we're taking pretty serious here in Novia. Well, and I think it speaks to how we integrate or interact, I should say, with our customers. You know, we and you've talked about it, I'm sure, on previous podcasts. But you know, our account managers start this process, and they go out and talk to our customers about their business. Um, we don't necessarily head in there with the sole purpose of saying, "I'm going to sell you something." We go in and say, all right, let's talk about what you're doing, how you're doing it, what your processes are, what's your plans for the next five years. And with with the knowledge of what is coming down the pike and the expansion capabilities and the new systems, it allows us to, to have those conversations at the front end. They may not bear any fruit for two years, but guess what? We're around in two years to take advantage of it. And that's kind of what the whole customer conference is about presenting new ideas and new concepts to customers, getting them ahead of the curve and, and being ready to have future conversations. So got a quick question for you before we let you go. So yeah. Jeff's going to do a recap on his virtual reality. Mm -hmm. uh, so what are the odds that he'll be able to keep it under five minutes? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> he said he says he's going to do a high level, which I, I don't know what that means. But but you, you throw in some Star Wars, Jeff, and I will definitely attend. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Ooh, awesome uh, all right well thanks alan that was any last party you words you want to say to our listeners no, it was it was awesome guys i just had to throw that word in because you use it all the time hey i did not say it once this podcast all right so <laughs> <laughs> you know so uh, that's what happens when you hire professionals to do podcasts but alan thank you very much we appreciate you taking time of your busy day to hop on with us all right guys have a good one all right you too bye-bye so uh so Jeff, I'm, I'm, we're going to talk about the sessions. If you want, <laughs> I, you know the, the your, your session, as Alan said, was it was standing room only, and it was very very cool. So maybe um, if you can keep it under five minutes, uh, tell a little bit about your session. All right, yeah, it would be easier if you could keep reminding me like every minute um, that goes by. Though, but um, in all seriousness, I think the uh, when you know Tom was um, you know we were brainstorming sessions um, last fall, I think it was, and you know I was like, hey, this you know all of this um, virtual reality, mixed reality, extended reality stuff that's that's out there that Microsoft is telling us is coming and that we have actually seen we are uh, we're pursuing um, along with our customers. We're helping um, pursue a, a couple um, HoloLens projects. And so, you know, we're starting to get familiar with the technology. Um, I, you know, I said, uh, what, what do you think about doing something like that? And yeah, of course, Tom was all about it. But then, you know, he's like, can you pull it off? Because, you know, using virtual reality and um, headsets that um, projecting that onto um, onto a screen to share it with a group, that's all stuff that's that's um, tricky. But um, but we were able to uh, to pull it off and, um, you know, just kind of show a day in the life of what's what's possible um, in virtual reality. So I think uh, after, you know, the going over at a high level, the current Microsoft offerings around virtual reality, both in the Dynamics 365 space um, with things like remote support and guides and layout, um, things that most of which add, you know, lay over um, Dynamics 365 um, service. Uh, there's also the Azure um, uh, virtual reality stuff, the, uh, um, the Azure Connect and sort of the, you know, spatial um, points, some of the stuff that's already uh, the remote rendering stuff that is, uh, you know, that, that Microsoft already has um, 
ready for um, customers to start utilizing um, as the use cases start to pop up and as people understand this technology better and where they can leverage it in their organization. Um, Microsoft's already ha- already has the resources ready for them uh, to you know to to deploy. So um, we took you know a high level overview of that and then and then I jumped into a, a you know a little bit of a day in the life of my virtual environment that I've uh, created in the Windows Mixed Reality portal. Um, so I was running Business Central there. We had some you know 3D models pinned to the uh, item card and we launched those and played around with them a little bit and then had uh, um, uh, a Power BI report. Um, that is something that um, Microsoft is starting to optimize um, uh, to give you an option to display your Power BI dashboards in a um, in a um, optimized setting for virtual reality so it's you know these these cool reports that are going to float around or that you pin to a location to a specific machine on the manufacturing floor so that anyone that uh, that comes there that's got the uh, technology can can look at those reports um, or those dashboards as it relates it's it's all stuff that uh, is probably down the road a little bit in terms of you know the, the future of organizations that uh, that we work with not not the present, but as a partner, I think we're. Um, it's important for Inovia to continue to put, you know, um, the latest and greatest, and, and keep our customers in tune to what's on the horizon, so that as we're having discussions with them, um, we don't lose sight of, of, you know, what the possibilities are in the future. And uh, so it was. It was fun to. Uh, it was fun to to do that presentation. It, I was happy that it all turned out. Um, it. You know, it took a lot of time to put that all together, and so, uh, so yeah, it was great. And and you know, I, I was looking at the twenty uh, the twenty four sessions that we presented, um, and for our customers, and I think Anovia um, presented at uh, at maybe only four or five of those, and the rest were handled by our ISV experts. So, um, as Alan said, it was really a, a a great value, I think, for our customers, especially for ones that maybe can't make the the commitment to a trip to um, uh, summit each year, if it's you know, a, a, right. you know, so um, to get you know in a one day um, to get all of, you know seventeen different ISVs and and you know have uh, I know a lot of uh, most I think of our customers sent multiple people to uh, the event just so they could uh, spread out and you know and and attend multiple sessions in the different time slots. Yeah, I, I'm so of the other ones that we didn't do. I mean, we had them on what payroll, WMS expenses. Um, what other ones did we have? Um, uh, in terms of the uh, that Anovia presented, or just, no, that the, that the ISV. So, like our customers, you know, because you have this ERP system that most people seem to underutilize. It's like your smartphone. How much do you utilize of it? So what we try to do is have them uh, present their, their, you know, these add-ons that can help the companies become more efficient. So, you know, maybe you can tell our listeners what are some of the other, uh, you know, parts of, of NAV or the add-ons that were there. Like, you know, like I said, there's payroll, there's WMS, there was, um, there was, there was some um, uh, uh, tax. I know tax is really big with the, uh, with the new tax laws. Uh, what other sessions uh, yeah, well, come to um, mind right now for you? Let's see. Like in in looking over the list, we had um, I mean we had people like uh, Jim Augustine was there from Lanham. Um, mm-hmm. you know, we've we've been um, partners with Lanham for forever, I think, and and they're always um, a great ISV. So um, Jim's uh, you know he he did a presentation on eShip and EDI, and that was well attended. Um, we had. Uh, um, Jet Reports was there. Um, Jet Analytics. Um, I sat in on a session um, as I was the room monitor, and um, a lot of uh, a lot of great interest about um, about that. And I think what a lot of ISVs were taking the time to. Um, uh, Sandro was there from um, Equisys Data Docs, mm-hmm. um, and uh, we had um, Sana was there, and oh, uh, yeah, and uh, Dynamic and, Web and, and SiteWorks. Yeah, yeah there's oh, a lot yeah. of them. Yep. So, um, you know, I, I think it, with the ISV space, you know, we're uh, there's some some turbulence in the uh, um, in the channel now with sort of the the move. I know uh, I talked to a couple customers um, that were 
um, at the customer conference who were seeking some reassurance about, you know, what are Microsoft's plans going forward? Um, are we, you know, are we going to have a choice to run on premise? How long is that going to be a viable option for us? And, you know, David O'Brien talked about it a little bit in his, uh, in his road mapping. And I think everything that we have seen, um, indicates that, uh, we're still several years away from, uh, from any major decisions that, uh, um, that Microsoft's making as far as, you know, getting rid of a on premise option. But that was, uh, it's good to have all the people in, in one, spot to have these conversations with and the isvs are just as uh you know just as um concerned about these sort of uh um changes in the marketplace as as our customers are and so i think a lot of the questions i heard in those presentations were you know how does your is you know we we understand how your isv works maybe we're using it now but what are our options um in this hosted Mm -hmm. SaaS world of business central is your isv going to work the same how do you know what are the costs associated and um so it was uh i think everyone that attended uh was was uh reassured by at least having you know getting as most um, the best information they could, I guess, in terms of um, what the future is going to look like. So, so Jeff, I know um, I think it was the podcast we did when we did the review on uh, focus that we actually had a trivia question that people were supposed to email you the answer. Did anyone ever email you the answer to that question? Yeah, actually, you know what, that uh, the, they did. Um, so we have a winner of the coffee mug, correct? Oh, oh yeah, that's like you have to remind me what was the uh, um, what was the prize for this coffee lucky mug. gentleman? A coffee mug. Okay, so um, boy, I'm searching <laughs> you're, you're through my up, huh? <laughs> highly organized email <laughs> to no, find. You're, you're, you're supposed to live in the CRM, not the uh, not the out uh, oh, the inbox, right? That's that's kind of what we talk about. <laughs> <laughs> that's what that's what I'm doing wrong here. Yes, so um, we had uh, help me out with his name from uh, TW Garden. Oh, Matt, Matt, Matt McCollum. Oh yes, there it is. So yeah, he he dug deep to uh, give me give me those answers about what NAV stood for and uh, and what ERP stood for. I think actually didn't those wasn't the source of those questions we were teasing our wives who. Uh, who may or may not listen to our podcast. Well, mine listens. So, and she's a great listener. She's right, just, way to go. Just, way just, to go. Make that, just to make that noted. Hi, Linda. Uh, so uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, uh, but well, great. We'll have to get Matt a coffee mug. And, you know, and uh, actually Matt and uh, Brian Christian, who uh, run the uh, North Carolina chapter, they are actually interested in us possibly doing a podcast at one of their user group meetings. So uh, uh, that could be fun. Uh, maybe I even might take you. Uh, we'll talk about that one later. <laughs> Yeah, that actually, that's a great idea. I think we, uh, you know, as we become more comfortable with this platform, I think yeah. absolutely we sort of stumbled um, uh, on our first attempt uh, to do it outside our normal um, podcast studio, which is, uh, which is of course, a, um, a recorded Skype call. But um, <laughs> we, won't, we won't let anyone see behind the curtain to actually know that. Yeah. We'll have to send our engineering team out there a day early to make sure everything's working yes, correctly. Exactly. <laughs> so, uh, we, so are we going to do another? Are we going to do another question or what? You, another? Uh, um, yeah, uh, contest. I don't contest? know what even yeah. that is. Yeah. So, so um, this. So last time it was emailing me. Um, okay. I think this time we should put the uh, put the pressure on you. So um, okay. uh, let's see. So okay. So the next contest. First of all, let's pick a prize. You have a prize in your uh, um, South Bend office prize vault. We have an exclusive custom made Novia backpack oh that sounds like that sounds i don't know that that sounds uh, it might be a, a better prize than uh, than um a coffee mug but okay so um but only but only one winner per year so oh, matt's out go. okay <laughs> Matt. <laughs> yeah that's um he gets and, the coffee mug <laughs> wait 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 do i can i you know considering that the 12 people who listen to our podcast two of which are our wives do, are they eligible or not um, uh they I'm are not and and actually, in speaking at the customer conference, I think we might be up to a baker's dozen. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. We did have some people. I was. Um, we're teasing about that. We have far more than twelve. It's like at least fifteen. Um, that's right. But uh, but yeah. So okay. So so someone is going to email you to win a backpack, and they are going to eat. What do they have to email you? Give me something here that's uh, relevant in your life right now. All right. So uh, you know, as you, we were speaking, I was thinking of it. So my 
my youngest, Noah, who actually did an internship for us a couple years ago, is graduating from Purdue in two weeks. So how about the, the first, how about the first person that emails me boiler up uh, gets the backpack? Should, awesome. we, should we keep it never later? Is that okay? You think? No, no, I think that's good. Like we're just okay. we just want to verify that there are people um, listening to us. So that's great. Now, of course, if it takes um, the ginger demon like thirteen weeks to get this out, it might seem uh, uh, to, to edit this. <laughs> He's graduating in September. <laughs> he had some summer classes, so we'll see how quick we'll see how quick uh, Tim gets this out. But everyone's got the same chance at uh, at winning because I think it gets uh, published to all the podcasts podcast platforms at the same time so we will we will be uh um, confident that uh that tim will get this handled in the next uh, week or two so okay and and i notice um uh, that our leadership team is leaving at the end of this week to go to las vegas for directions that's right. Yeah, I saw that. I was as I was uh, rambling on about the future of uh, um, of NAV and uh, Business Central uh, on premise. I was thinking we'll probably know some more uh, at the end of next week when uh, when directions completes, and that's always uh, um, a time that Microsoft makes some big announcements. So that'll be exciting for everyone. Yeah, I think maybe what we can do is uh, uh, have uh, our boss, our CMO, Tom Doran. Uh, on the next podcast, and maybe can do uh, uh, a review of what kind of happened at Directions. Because a lot of times, there's a lot, as David O'Brien said at our keynote, there's going to be a lot of a lot of announcements come out of that uh, conference. So that should be um, uh, a lot of stuff coming out of that that we can share with our listeners. Awesome! Yeah. Well, that uh, that sounds like um, that sounds like a winner, and I know I'm uh, excited to. Uh, I'm following a lot of uh, a lot of hashtags on LinkedIn about uh, uh, Microsoft mixed reality and virtual reality. So uh, um, I'm looking forward to some announcements, not just in the Dynamics space, but you know, in some of this uh, this other technology and and you know, learning about what they've got in store for us. So it's uh, okay. yeah, that'll be an exciting podcast. Mm-hmm. So, Jeff, do you have any uh, webinars you're doing coming up for Inovia uh, in the near future? Oh my goodness! Um, thankfully, no. I did. Uh, I did three. <laughs> I did three of them in the first quarter. So I am. Uh, I'm. I think webinared out. Although, I'm sure oh. Angie might might lean on me for another one or two this year. What about you? A well, a well deserved break that you get. Well, I'm actually going to be doing one um, in June. Uh, is your pipeline real? So. Uh, um, you know, a lot of uh, discussions that I have with our customers is, you know, we kind of, you know, we talked a little bit about CRM last time, but, you know, at the end of the day, you know, people want to have a, you have to have a strong pipeline to survive. And, and a lot of the pipeline is not real. So we're going to uh, do a webinar uh, on that. So you can go to our uh, website at anovi.com under events, and you can see the upcoming webinars, and you can actually look back at our past webinars. Um and, you know, we, we do, it's tied into our YouTube channel. Um, you know, and a lot of times, uh, you know, we have customers that, that are using older versions and we do demos on them. And so it's a great way for them just to kind of get a, a quick review of, of doing that. So, um, but we do have a couple, a bunch of them coming up and, uh, we do release those on LinkedIn. You can follow us on LinkedIn and on, uh, Twitter. And, um, I think you can also, um, follow uh, the podcast on the internet on 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 the our webpage or you can actually download the different apps i think uh, uh tim actually made is there four of them now uh four different podcast apps that tim got access to yep uh, yeah i mean i think that anywhere that uh anywhere that you get your podcast whether it's the um iTunes Store, um, Google Play. Uh, I use Stitcher. Um, that's the app I use to to uh, listen and download my podcast. So um, any of those, uh, we are registered with all of them. I think he also puts them up on YouTube, and uh, and then there's direct links at uh, that podcast page on Anovia.com. So we are easy to listen to. Um, well, I mean, I guess we're easy to find. I don't know if we're easy to listen to. Um, <laughs> <laughs> That would be like in the comments section. We'd have to look about that. So exactly. Well, Jeff, it was a, a successful customer conference. Thank you to all that are listening that came, and for those uh, that are interested in coming, the one in South Bend is actually already on the website. We're doing some pre-registrations already. Uh, it should be our biggest and best ever. So we thank you for joining our podcast today, Jeff. Any any party words from you? Um, 
No, although I did want to do a um, give a shout out to the guys from Lachesis who uh, um, I'm not sure if it was Steve or Chris who uh, told me that um, they would let me use one of their extra hollow lenses to uh, to play with in my virtual reality world. So um, so thank you for that. I'm going to be uh, stopping by your office someday unannounced to get that. And uh, <laughs> and if anyone else South Bend soon. <laughs> yeah, that's it, that's it. Yeah, maybe I'll have you pick that up for me, Steve, and you can. Uh, you can bring it to uh, to our next meeting. So, all right, yeah, no, I want to just, uh, in all seriousness, say thank you to all the ISVs that attended, um, all the uh, customers that made time in their schedules for that. It was uh, it was a great event, and uh, um, and that's all I have. All right, everybody, thank you for listening, and have a great rest of your day. 